guys, it is 50 days until I move to Orlando, Florida to go and work for Mickey Mouse. <laughs> 50 days. Like... Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Morgan and as you will have previously just heard, I am moving to Orlando, Florida to go and work in Walt Disney World in Epcot in the United Kingdom Pavilion for a year um, as part of the Cultural Representative Programme. So I'm literally, I'm so excited. Um, my last day of work was yesterday and it's 50 days or six weeks until I officially fly out to Orlando to go and start working in Walt Disney World. Like, I like, <laughs> it's the craziest thing. Um, but yeah, for today's video I thought I'd hop back on here um, and sort of continue where I left off in my last video. So if you haven't seen that, I basically did um, sort of a story time of me applying for the Cultural Representative Programme and sort of about the application process. Uh, I know the applications for like this year's participants um, have already gone out now and some of those participants I know have started to hear back and receive interviews for the first sort of round of um, the process, like the first interviews, which are held at, um, with Yummy Jobs. Uh, so today I just wanted to tell you like a bit about sort of my story and my interview process with them. So essentially once you hear back um yummy i can't get my words out <laughs> let's try again um yeah so once you hear back yummy jobs will contact you and tell you when your interview is going to be um and if they're the same as what mine were they'll be held in epping in london so my interview was on the 14th of March 2023 and I was quite lucky I had an afternoon time slot so you get no preference, no pick, no say in when your interview is. You get told you need to be here at this building at this time on this day. So I was quite lucky because I had to get the train down there so I had to get a train from Gloucester to Paddington which is about an hour 40, an hour 45 minutes. And then I had to get the tube from Paddington over to Epping, which I think, if I remember right, it was about 50 minutes to an hour on the tube. Um, and then obviously when I got there, I had to walk to the office block where the interviews were. So all in all, I think it took me about I, mm, I want to say about three hours it took me to get there um, and obviously I went there back in a day so yeah it was quite a long day um, but obviously totally worth it because I'm here I'm in this position today where I'm literally gonna be going out starting my new job in 50 days time <laughs> anyway um, so for me, and like it was literally the most nerve-wracking day of my life. Like this is something I've wanted to do ever since I found out about it. Um, like ever since being little and first visiting the parks, I've been like, I want to work there. Like, how do I get here? And then I found out about the program during COVID. I was actually watching another girl's YouTube channel and her videos. So I found out about the program. Um, and ever since then I've been like that's what I want to do so here I am um, so we got told beforehand we had to prepare basically a background story about the location we're from in advance so essentially the cultural representative program you work in the country representing your country so for me I'll be working in the United Kingdom pavilion um, 
and you need to be able to authentically represent the place you're from. So they'd asked us all to prepare something in advance that we could talk about, speak about, um, you know, sort of give them an idea about the place where we're from. And we got told to bring an object along with us to the interview and something that, you know, you can talk about, like essentially a story that you can share with guests um when you end up working in Apricot so you know the weeks leading up to the interview I was thinking about it and I was going oh you know this that and the other and I the only person who was aware I was applying for this at the time was my mum so I'd been speaking to my mum and I was like oh what can I what can I do what can I bring and suddenly it clicked I had the best idea ever um so I'm from the city of Gloucester and every year in Gloucester, we hold um, this competition of cheese rolling. So essentially, there is a very steep hill that is practically vertical. <laughs> and people from the area go up the hill and decide to run down the hill after a block of cheese. Like a wheel, a circular wheel of cheese. <laughs> So there's this big circular wheel of double Gloucester cheese that I believe weighs about five kilograms, four to five kilograms, and they throw it down the hill and all the competitors run after it. So I bought myself a block of double Gloucester cheese, <laughs> put it in my handbag and off to London we went. I have disnified my interview attire got my Morgan necklace with Mickey Mouse on and my Pandora bracelet with all my Disney charms <laughs> uh, and that's what I spoke about in my interview um, and it was funny because you know prior to the interview all the other candidates we were all arriving there was like quite a big group of us all waiting outside beforehand and then eventually we all got like called into the building and we were sat in this big waiting area prior to individually going in for our interviews um so we're all just chatting amongst one another you know all all excited about this potential opportunity and people were sort of saying like oh what have you bought with you what have you bought with you and uh people were saying various different things like people were bringing hb sauce worcester sauce uh i think someone bought rich tea biscuits like all like food items from where they're from someone had bought i think like cadbury's chocolate and then I was like, oh, well, I've bought a block of cheese. And <laughs> everyone was very intrigued and was like, hmm, what's this about cheese? And when I told them, everyone, like, hardly anyone had heard of this. And everyone <laughs> was very intrigued. And so I became known as the cheese girl from Gloucester. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I spoke about that, spoke about that in my interview, um, and I feel like that probably took up the biggest proportion of the interview, because um, obviously that was something that we'd had chance to prepare in advance, um, so yeah, I spoke about that for a while. And then, in terms of what other questions were asked, um, they did ask me quite a few bits, but they were very sort of, they weren't trying to trick you out or anything like that. They weren't questions where it was like, um, where you were kind of like puzzled on what to say. Like yummy jobs aren't trying to trick you out at all. They just want to get to know you, get to know you as a person. Um, so I was actually very smart at the time. And as soon as I came out my interview on the train on the way home, I wrote down every single question I was asked on my notes on my phone. So I have got them all here in front of me. So I was asked to say about myself, like what and why I'm applying for the programme. So essentially I spoke about, you know, the jobs I do at the time, my like food and beverage as well as merchandise background. Um, and then I said like obviously where I live um, and why I want to do the programme. I. I made sure to, you know, obviously I'm a massive Disney fan, like that's blatantly obvious, um, 
However, I think you need to explain a bit more than that because most people applying for this programme all have a massive passion for Disney. Um, so I sort of brought in the cultural aspect of it, said how, you know, I want to um, engage with guests from around the world, like, you know, um, the locals there and be able to like share my story and my background where I'm from. Um, for those of you who know Epcot and the park and what it's about, it is a very educational park in that aspect and it is very much about sort of teaching people about the world, about past, present, future, like about innovations, technologies, all of that. Um, so I wanted to bring that aspect into it, um, which I think I did very nicely. <laughs> um, and then they sort of asked questions about like, what do you think your biggest challenge will be with the program? Have you been to Orlando before and what time of year? Um, essentially, they want to know that you are an ideal and suitable candidate for the job. Like, they don't want, it's not a problem if you haven't been to Orlando before, but they want to know that you'll be able to like hack the weather system for example like obviously Orlando weather and Orlando lifestyle is very different to that here in the UK so they just want to like check in with you in that aspect and make sure you're going to be able to cope with that um and then I had to speak about my current job um this is probably the hardest question I had because it's it's a typical interview question, but it's the one that sort of you have to think the most about, I guess. Um, so I had to speak about my current job and a time where I'd faced a complaint and how I dealt with that. Um, so I'm not going to get too much into that answer because that is very much your generic interview styled question. Um, I think I actually spoke about a stake at the time and how it had been made wrong the customer had ordered it medium rare and they wanted it medium well something like that um honestly <laughs> it was like a year ago so i can't actually remember entirely what i said but i think as long as you explain your answers well and back your answers up like you'll be fine um and then they sort of say they want to know not only what you're going to give to the program but what you're going to gain from the program um so i said like better cultural understandings i said how my food and beverage knowledge would improve and just like my experience in general obviously walt disney world is huge and like having this opportunity is such a massive thing um obviously like in terms of sort of hospitality food and beverage industry it is probably one of the busiest places that in the world that you could end up working um so I sort of said about that like it will better my understanding of hospitality and of food and beverage um and then the other questions really were sort of like yes or no or just about like your preferences when you get there so they were saying about like your rooming preferences um when's your like availability for starting the program so obviously the uh, application enrolment and like the cohort, um, essentially some people went out from as early as, hmm, I want to say July last year. Um, I think I know a couple of people that started in July and then it enrolls the whole way over until September this, this coming year. So, so July, 2023 was like the earliest you could have started and it goes the whole way through until September 2024 so I said I was able to start as soon as possible obviously uh, my start date isn't actually until April 2024 so about halfway through the enrolment I guess um, and then they just sort of said like do you have any tattoos obviously I say yes or no um, and on that note, it doesn't matter if you do have tattoos, um, so long as they're coverable. I believe they're not allowed to be bigger than the size of your palm, and if they are, it just means you have to 
cover them up whilst on duty um so like our costumes i believe are sort of three quarter length sleeves and you would have to wear like full sleeves um and the same if you've got any tattoos like on your lower legs where like your dress doesn't cover you just have to wear like tights or um like stockings or something um but yeah it doesn't actually matter they just need clarification of it um and then the final one was what's one word to describe yourself um what did i say Oh, I know what I said. I said bubbly. Bubbly, that's what I said. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that was it really. So I had my interview, uh, which was with one of the recruiters for Yummy Jobs. And then I came out afterwards. I saw a couple of the other um, potential candidates. And like, you know, we were all sort of chatting again afterwards and like saying, oh, how did you get on? Like, how was it? And everybody had the same reaction. Everyone was like, it was fine. Like, it was nothing to be scared about at all. It was very much a conversation. You just essentially, you're just speaking about yourself. Like, just be genuine. Just be honest. Like, yeah, you have nothing to worry about. Obviously, you're going to because it's this massive opportunity. Um, but yeah, don't, try not to overthink it. Just be yourself. Um... Yeah, so then after that, I obviously got the tube back into central London and then got the train back home to Gloucester. Uh, so it was a very long day. Luckily, I didn't have to bring my block of cheese home with me. I left that with Yummy Jobs because I said to them, sorry, my uh, camera cut off there. But <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't keep my block of cheese. I said to my recruiter who interviewed me, oh, would you like to keep the block of cheese? And in the back of my head, I was thinking, please keep it, please keep it, because this is quite heavy and I don't want to carry it home. And <laughs> they did keep it. So, yeah, I went home after that. And then I think it was about a week. It was quite a fast turnaround because um, I know we were all expecting to then have to wait for quite a while again before we heard anything. But I think it was literally about five to seven days after we found out. Um... And I found out I'd passed, like I got through that stage of the process and then I was on to the finals. So yeah, and then obviously finals I got through and then was waitlisted and then I got my programme acceptance. Um, but I'll say more about the rest of the process in a later video. Today I just wanted to come on here, um, say congratulations to any of you who have got to this point in the process um, and sort of give you a better understanding of like what to expect and you know my journey I will say that you know don't think just because I was asked these questions you're gonna get exactly the same questions asked because I know from speaking to other candidates the questions are very like what's the word you know what I'm trying to say. There's a very wide um, amount of questions that they can ask, but they are all sort of along those lines. Um, and like I said, just be yourself, be genuine, like, you know, show your love for Disney, for the culture, just, yeah, bring a nice story with you. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's about it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed and be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future content. Like I said, I will be out in Florida in 50 days time. So there's going to be plenty more content on the way. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.